whether you speak English, German or Portuguese, Kia's Peter Schreyer inspired design DNA has seen the manufacturer bringing cars to the market that truly speak a global language. The next vehicle to hit our shores is the Kia Rio. Now, the B segment is super competitive in South Africa. So for Kia SA, this car has to look the part. And the American design team that penned the new Kia Rio, they went with three key things, urban, funky, and dynamic. This looks pretty urban to me, the streets of Lisbon. It looks incredibly sporty. Let's find out just how dynamic it is. Just outside Lisbon, you're gonna find plenty of little villages like this one, El Guera. They are just steeped in history, you know, walking through these cobbled streets. Hey man, a guy feels a bit nostalgic. It seems like everything's just been frozen in time. The same can't be said for Kia though, because they are fast forwarding to the future. Chatting to the guys, you know, when we went through that horrible economic downturn, Kia was on the up and up in terms of their sales, pushing nearly 30% growth year on year. This year, 2011, they've set themselves a target of 2.3 million cars, and they are ahead of the game already. What's happened? What did Kia do? What have they changed? Well, the Rio is totally new to market, but already it's got the attention of all the right people. It's uh, won a German design award and an ISO award because of its environmentally friendly technology that's been introduced into it. The Koreans are the first to admit that they've been a bit slow on the uptake and certainly a lot of the other big brand players are way ahead of them in the eco game. But so they're trying to make that right with the Rio. So you're gonna find things like start-stop technology has been incorporated into it. And they've done what everyone else is doing, gone with the small capacity engines downscaling the Rio. Only two engines coming to SA, both of which are petrol, a 1.2 and a 1.4. I'm not going to lie to you, I was like, hmm, a 1.2, because it's quite a big car, the Rio, you know, it's a little picanto runaround, and we thought, well, let's, let's take 1.2 for a spin, and I must admit, I'm pleasantly surprised, 64 kilowatts seems to deliver itself in a really fun and feisty type of way, it's got a nice gearbox, comes with a 5-speed, the 1.4 has got a 6-speed manual, and it seems to handle really well, very easy to drive, even though we're on the wrong side of the road. I've thoroughly enjoyed it. I think the bit that's gonna get most people talking though is the interior on the Rio because it's a chalk and cheese. I mean, from the outside styling to interior, you cannot compare four year old Rio to uh, the brand new one. Interior, they want upmarket is what they said. They want people to get into the car and go, wow, this isn't B segment. This feels more like a C or D segment car. And I think they've done that. What I do enjoy is that they haven't gone crazy in terms of overcomplicating things. They've kept it pretty clean, pretty simple. Dare I say it's pretty German. And that's really good news for the South African consumers because we do enjoy the European spec level. So I'm not gonna go into too much detail about what you are gonna get in your career because obviously once it comes to SA, the options list will be finalized. But in terms of dimensions, longer, lower, wider. That sums it all up. They've got more legroom in the front, more legroom in the back. The boot has become bigger. They reckon it's now class leading when you fold the seats down 930 odd liters. It's got a real big car feel to it. And they were saying that it's gonna be a dynamic drive and sporty and that's what they're looking for. The roads in Portugal, very windy, very scenic, very beautiful. And we've been having lots of fun and I, and I am quite impressed because this little 1.2 liter, only 64 odd kilowatts, doesn't seem to be too afraid to get going. Steering response feels really good. I didn't enjoy the Kia Picanto. I didn't like the feel of the steering in that, but they've really got it right in this one. So it is dynamic, it is sporty. I would still like to see them slapping a little turbo in and really appealing to the SA market need for a really dynamic and sporty car. I think this is gonna do really well in SA. The 1.4 would be my pick, because I think 1.2 could be getting a little bit light on the power side on the reef. So what happened? How did things all turn around and change for Kia? Well, I think if you think back to the Kias of old, let's be honest, they never really had any core brand values, other than obviously being a value for money proposition to consumers. 2006, Peter Schreyer leading the design focus. Kia came up with a strategy called the power to surprise. And suddenly their cars became exciting, desirable, aspirational even. I do think, however, they need to come up with a new strategy now because power to surprise? Are you kidding me? I'm not surprised by this. You look at what they've done with the Rio, this has become what you expect from a Kia. Upmarket, sexy, sporty, dynamic. These guys are certainly heading in the right direction. <laughs> 